hello everybody thank you so much for coming back watch, watching my youtube channel i make videos all about nursing in the uk i have recently started uh, making videos on uh, oski as you have seen i really appreciate your effort you liking the content commenting on the videos i really appreciate that one and um, it makes me happy it motivates me to make more videos today's video is not about oski not about oet <laughs> today we are going to talk about how to become a uh, nurse in the uk how to do the registration with the nmc and what's the procedure what is the qualification requirement what is the uh, the documents requirements uh, for the nmc registration so without any further delay let's start the video so if you are new to my channel please if you like the video like it share it with your friends who are preparing for the oski or oet or who are aspiring to come to the uk please share it uh, with your friends with your colleagues and uh, also if you are new to channel you can go through all the videos that i made about oet cbt oski all the content that you need to become a nurse so as i said earlier we are going to make video today about nmc registration so so basically in general if someone doesn't know how to start with the nmc procedure how to start um, uh, preparing for uh, nmc registration how to start preparing for the nurse in the uk so the basic thing you need is to do the english test as you're coming from uh, asian countries where uh, it's a requirement that you need to do an english test just start preparing with the english test without knowing anything without knowing about the procedure or anything without wasting your time just start with the preparation of english test whether it's ielts or oet whichever is easy for you whatever is easy for you if you think that ielts would be easier for you go for it if you think that oet would be easier for you go for it so just to give an overview ielts is a general test general english test they can give you any topic they can give you uh, like anything to talk about any essay is the same it includes in uh, speaking reading listening writing so four skills same in the oet but the oet is more occupational english test so it's more likely related with the medical things like doctors nurses they can do the occupational uh, english uh, test it's more uh, related with the with the medical job medic, medical profession so i think for the medical profession for the doctors out there for the nurses out there it would be good easy for them to do oet but still it's up to you with whatever seems easy for you go for it so after doing the english test the next procedure as a nurse you need to do is the is the um, um what do you call it document verification from your nursing council or and from nmc so i will show you the video i have recorded all the procedure how to do how to do nmc registrations so i'm just giving you a basic overview first you need to do is english test then you need to do documentation verification submit your application on online uh, nmc registration website on nmc.org.uk that's their website nmc.org.org.uk that's their website you need to register uh, for um, uh, for uh, for a nurse you can start the registration after doing the english test you're going to start with the registration you're going to submit your documents and then you're going to do a computer based test cbt it's called then when you come here in the uk you're going to do a oski test so this is the basic overview of becoming a nurse in the uk let's start the video in detail i'll show you where to register on the nmc registration page stay tuned as i said earlier first of all you need to go to nmc.org.uk and then search the registration register that's the registration bit that you need to select yeah go on the registration when you go on the registration it says uh, uh, register as a nurse you can see here joining confirm someone's registration we don't want to do that nmc online we're not going online but when you register you can go online joining the register this is the bit you're gonna select after joining the register it will give you a, um, a, a, an overview how register as a nurse or register as a nursing associate so for us we're gonna select register as a nurse then it's as, it asks you whether you're trained in the uk or trained outside the uk you are going to select trained outside the uk 
okay so after selecting trained outside the uk it gives you an a check the check if you are ready it will ask you uh, uh, some questions and then if it will give you pre pre application checklist so it's asking you check you are ready to register click on the pre application checklist click on the now it's going to ask you some questions it will give you all the information how much it is it going to cost how long is it going to take and prepare your evidence get your pre-application checklist now we select on the get your pre-application checklist it's asked you do you have a valid passport yeah have you ever changed your name after marriage if you change your name select yes if not no do you have a qualification just answer all these questions have you ever named change your name it says uh, whether you change your spouse name after getting married you're going to select yes do you have a qualification that has or would allow you to work as a registered nurse yes do you have original qualification certificate of course does your health allows you to practice yeah do you have any police charge question or something no has another regulatory body determined your fitness to practice impaired this is where you need to select if you are fit to work if not you need to select now oh yes have you ever been registered is asking about your nursing council in your country have you ever been registered with them then they ask you have you been registered within the within the last three years and about the english test what evidence of english your english language do you have to support your application so it's asked about you an accepted english language test with the test which is accepted in the in the uh, in the countries where you're going to whether it's usa uk or uh, in canada will you have appropriate indemnity cover you can say yes because the most of the jobs in the nhs they do cover they provide you cover so this is your checklist you can download it and also if you don't want to download you can uh, read about it so first thing is id check id check is your passport it should have uh, more than three months to expire at the time you submit your application You need to upload a picture of your passport and for uh, of, uh, passport's picture page at the start of the application evidence of name change if you ever done so eligibility check eligibility that indicates uh, that you have uh, a qualification in nursing or midwifery in your council in your uh, country evidence of your qualification it means that you need to provide original uh, qualification certificate to them you will need to upload a clear scan of photograph or photograph or your qualification certificate at the start of your application you will also need to show the original certificate to us in person before we can register contact details of your regulator is these are the contact details um, I, uh, l let's say if you are registered from pakistan pakistan nursing council regulator details you need to give if it's india you need to provide their nursing council details before you begin your application you should contact the regulator in your country of training to let them know you're applying for registration in the uk make sure you have completed any steps that you they need you to do before you can before they can respond to our request then you're gonna do it uh, taking the test of competence but it comes at the end so don't worry about it here you need to provide the certificate of your health fitness you indicated that your health allows you to practice safely and effectively you'll ask to declare this in your application you're gonna provide a fitness certificate you can ask your gp to give you the certificate then character certificate is a police clearance certificate you can ask them from your country from your area dbs is the certificate when you come here in the uk you ask that is the same as police clearance as you do in your country language as we said earlier is whether it's or oet 
other requirements and the registration fees you can uh, select on the costs and fees and check the fees and uh, cost of all your application so in the beginning when you start registering with the nmc you need to pay an evaluation fees which is uh, i think it's 140 pounds when you submit your eligibility let me see here so the total cost it says is 1170 this includes the cost of cbt and oski so it includes everything yeah so evaluation fees the first thing that you need to do is evaluation fees evaluation fees is for 140 pound is non-refundable whether your application is approved or not this fees will not be refund refunded to you then computer based test is a cbt when you are done with your english test you started with the, your application your application is being approved you are ready for registration you are eligible for the registration then you need to do is the cbt exam cbt is 83 pounds the next step is oski when you come here in the uk within three months of your arrival you need to do your oski test and that is uh, uh, a bit expensive it says 974 pounds and uh, if you register with the with the your uh, 794 yeah so if you work with the nhs or some private sectors also they pay for your uh, oski uh, obstruct ob objective structured clinical examination they pay for your oski exam so you don't need to pay for that then also is that there is a registration fees for nmc evaluation phase is different evaluation fees is 140 pound and registration fees is a separate fees it's 153 pounds registration fees can be refundable in some circumstances but not in all so make yourself ready for with this uh, cost and then check how much you are going to pay and if you have enough money take your time to assess your application they usually reply you like in the evaluation fees when we pay 140 pounds and we start with the registration they usually reply in 14 days with the, your eligibility check provided that your uh, your pnc your uh, regulator respond to them right away so when i applied for uh, if, uh, evaluation check i didn't know that there is a fee that i need to pay to pnc pnc for pakistan nursing council i didn't know there is a fees for the evaluation also like your regulator your nursing council when they respond to nmc they need uh, they need you to pay some amount of money that i didn't know so in uh, in pakistani rupees i paid maybe i think it was 5000 it was 5000 so i was thinking that i do i don't need to pay that was i was that's why i was like not um, worried about uh, why they're not responding but when i contacted them that nmc emailed you but you did not respond and they said to me that i need to pay a certain amount of fees which i didn't know about then I paid the fees and then they responded to NMC. Uh, I did a diploma nursing. So general nursing diploma and uh, midwifery diploma. Is it is it valid? Is it authentic? It's not fake or anything. So it's not bogus. So they, they, they verify all your documents before they start your registration process. So they evaluate all your documents before they start with your NMC registration. If they did the, if they did the evaluation and they say we, you are eligible to uh, you are eligible to apply for registration. That that's the point you're gonna apply for registration so i hope this video was helpful uh, helpful and uh, i provided all the information that you need to register with the nmc basically it's just an english test document verification in the documents as i said you need your passport you need your name change document if you have done so and you need um, health certificate within uh, that should be valid within uh, that should be from your gp with the previous six months and uh, you also need police clearance certificate and uh, what else police clearance certificate then you uh, when they say it's all the ticks are being done in your it, they will uh, they will give you all the information in the nmc registration portfolio also they will give you all the information they will start uh, well when the evaluation is done they will mark as tick 
when the registration is done it will mark as tick so uh, when you submit your um, what do you call it your fitness to certificate fitness health, health fitness certificate your police certificate it will show as tick 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 this these things are done and then english test it's been done and then at the end they say we are happy to have you here start your oski preparation then when you go there you can start your oski preparation do your exam and that's it so then you get your nmc pin from the nmc so after getting your nmc pin when you do when you do your oski exam that is the time if you pass they give you nmc pin after getting your nmc you are a registered nurse in the uk you can start working as a nurse so that's it guys i hope this video was helpful if you like the video give it a big thumbs up share it with your friends and colleague and then i'll see you soon in the next video take care bye bye